Hey there, this is Amar and welcome to the World of Scholarship and Life, Lifestyle Vlog in South Korea. So today I decided to show you on how you can apply for KAIST scholarship. Yes, for undergraduate, I'm basically focusing for on undergraduate, but also for graduate uh, school, you can still use the same terminology to apply. So remember to keep uh, tuned <laughs> till the end, like watch this video till the end because I'll be answering those questions on how KAIST can uh, select student, what is the criteria and all that. So let's get started and in case you can support this uh, video by liking, commenting, subscribing and also sharing with others. Uh, yeah, we grow together and that's how we do it. All right, so this is how you get started. You go on a uh, Google site, you key in uh, KAIST degree programs. Uh, on the second icon, you go to KAIST IO, KAIST degree program. IO means international office. And uh, down there, you will see there is a KAIST undergraduate admission. You will see graduate admission. You will see also college of business. There is also business in KAIST. And we are interested with undergraduate, you know. Yes, so you can close those pop-ups and uh, on the notice area, you will see uh, those information. So let's see on what is what is all about this scholarship, what is offered. And as you can see the, there, you there is a full tuition exemption for eight semesters. There's monthly stipend of 350 and you are given national health insurance. Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, so and we go to admission now. Uh, you need to download that PDF or you can just scroll online, is all is the same, the, the one being displayed there. Uh, for me, I downloaded and uh, for to be able to show you uh, one on one on how it's being done. So, yeah my mouse was be misbehaving so let's uh, see so you'll see something like that uh once you create an account so let's go directly to admission guideline yes you will see the what is contained there the content in that uh, pdf welcome to kaist appreciating you and uh yeah, before we dive in, we can see the beautiful scenery of uh, KAIST with uh, geese. Uh, most of people like coming to KAIST to interact with these geese, to have fun and all that. Uh, yeah, I wish once you get admitted here, you will not get bored, you will move around to see these geese, to give them some food, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a, it's a beautiful place, yes. So you have seen that, so let's get back to what we have started. This is the Office at, uh, of Admission address. There is a website where you can just go directly. There is mailing address and, you know, working. It's important for that. And we have academic program. You should know that KAIST is just, mostly is based for maths and science. Yeah, it's a for STEM student. And those are the departments you can see. Uh, yeah, there's nuclear and quantum. If you have any question regarding nuclear and quantum engineering, you can ask me. That was my department back then. So, yeah, I would uh, love to see people uh, doing nuclear stuff. So, yeah. So, those are the department you can see from the display. Let's uh, keep scrolling and uh, see. Mm -hmm. So, we have application timeline. Uh, application there is early application and there is regular and this is the application time it starts on september 20th uh, and it the deadline is october uh, october 24th so you can see how the process goes till you, you are being announced 
and uh, for those who are applying for GKS with the phase, you can still apply for this Kai scholarship. There is a regular application which just starts on November and ends on January, meaning you will start your semester fall next year. Yes, so make sure you mark this application period because that is when the portal is being activated and is when you can start online application. So you can read on this note on your own. I'm just focusing on the important areas. Uh, so let's let's start with the application process. You read the guideline as 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 the way I'm doing. And then you come here, you create your account. That is the link you will click to create your account. Once you have done that, review application and show everything, you have to pay a fee of 80 USD. That is 8,000 Korean won. And then you have to upload the copies on a uh, document submission. I will still show you. Then you need recommendation later. And yeah, that is how the process is being done. And um, your application will be automatically submitted upon the deadline. You should make sure you 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 are you have done that. Uh, interview is not mandatory. Yeah, even on my case, I didn't have any interview, so that is the beauty of it. And you can also check the final results of admission through that link. You see, everything is provided. So you only click, you just be clicking those links to... So you start with the online application form. Let me take you back to show you. Uh, yeah, from this one is where you create your account. Yeah, I cannot show you how to create because the portal is not yet open. And then you pay your, your money, that is application fee. Then you upload document on my page. Once you create that account, you will have a registration number and that is where you, you log in. And uh, from your page, you can see this document submission. They will direct you, like once you create it, they will generate a link on how you will display your page. And uh, this is the eligibility criteria uh, for those who would wish to apply for KAIST scholarship. We have a spring early uh, admission. We have regular admission. And uh, those are the, if you were finishing school by then, you can read those on your own. So let's go to requirement. There is application form needed. And there is one recommendation letter. There is high school or university transcript, passport or national ID. So. If you don't have passport, just submit national ID. It's not a must to have a passport by then. Certificate of fact, those are for Korean citizen, maybe outside Korea. And you see English proficiency is not a ma is an optional, so what I believe you can still do it. Yeah. And we have application documents in details, uh, application form. That is the link you click to to start uh, filling out that form is recommendation letter maybe from your high school math or science teacher high school or university uh, transcript passport or national id yeah these things i'm um, just quoting out i know you can just read on your own and you will make a right choice if uh, if you have some problems, you want clarification, you, you can still eat on my comment section or follow me at Instagram, Mr. Masaku. I will be there for you to answer those questions. Also, you can ask the administration to help you with any problem because those guys are there for you and they normally respond as soon as possible. Yes. So let's scroll down to see uh, other things needed. You can see if you have English proficiency test, you can still submit. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can just submit. So make sure you pay the fee. You can see the bank account is provided. Uh, this one is a uh, worry bank. The information is provided there. Maybe for those who are in Korea for international bank transfer the information is 
still given there or bank the same account number swift code and all that so all right so we go on the selection process for kaist and i will be answering question for those guys who are asking me how do i get admission at kaist this is how they select student make sure you had performed well in math and science because kaist is basically uh, for the stem student math engineering technology sciences so also consider those potential interpersonal skill and all that also the level of uh, studies completed in math and science quality of achievement characteristic of institution attended i think this one is straightforward characteristic of institution the performance and all that the gpa is uh, the minimum is three out of 4.3 and if you have a higher gpa is good for you remember my video i encourage people uh despite you have that uh, minimum gpa you can you may have performed well in math and science so that doesn't limit you for not applying for this scholarship you may have attended a best university yeah so it all depends on you and uh, i know you can still get it regardless of gpa or anything yes so make those points into consideration for selection process and i hope uh, have clarified on how people are selected at KAIST. So these are the important notes uh, you need to read. If you submit fake document, remember you are, mm, a scholarship is being cancelled. Yes, yeah, so submit the right uh, information, feed in the right information for you to be able to move to the next level. Yes, and... Uh, I think uh, everything is all mentioned and clear. Uh, we are we are about to end the, the document, so stay tuned and let's finish up together. Yeah. Yes, you can just go through on your own. Take time because you have all the time. You can uh, make sure you also post all your document uh, needed. Every country has their own policy so make sure you follow uh, the policy of that country like in my country kenya we normally take those documents to ministry of education then foreign affairs and you are all done i hope i'm making sense i hope you have got a good insight and it's my prayer to see oh, the viewers getting this scholarship and also other scholarship are advertised on other videos yeah Hope one day to see you at Kais. Hope one day to see you in Korea. And make sure you share with others, uh, friends, sisters, relatives, and all that. Yeah, we all grow. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And see you on another video. Take care. Bye.